I've been on Blue Peter for over two years now. I feel like there's been maybe one thing missing, and that is an all-encompassing takeover of my life challenge. I want to be able to inspire you lot at home. Seeing the old footage of the classic, iconic Blue Peter challenges that genuinely go down in history, it's what Blue Peter is about. And now, it's my turn. This is the Old Man of Hoy, an enormous sea stack located in the Orkney Isles off the north coast of Scotland. It measures a terrifying 137 metres. That's about the same as a 40-storey building. And my challenge is to climb it. <sighs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm not great with heights. And it's not just the actual rock itself, it's how exposed it is. I've never been so intimidated by anything in my life. As terrifying as it seems, it can be done, as proven in 2018, when Edward Mills became the youngest person to climb the Old Man of Hoy. He made it to the top as an eight-year-old. So if I'm going to stand any chance of completing this, then getting some advice from him will be crucial. Edward, it's great to meet you, and this is quite a view for a chat, isn't it? You climbed that when you were eight years old. Have you got any tips for me? You should not look down if you're afraid of heights. Use your feet more than your hands. Your feet are a bit more important. You should never give up. If you're halfway up and you say you're going to give up, there's no point. You, you should just go to the top and enjoy the experience. What motivated you to do it? What made you do it in the first place? Well, my mum had cancer, so I decided to raise some money and try to find a different way to make it easier for the people in the same condition. Not only did Ed climb the old man, but he also raised an unbelievable £35,000 for charity. We think that is absolutely amazing and we are all in awe of you and inspired by you and because of that we think that you deserve our highest accolade which is the gold blue peter badge oh, oh my gosh congratulations that is so well deserved oh wow my own one happy with that yeah i have never been so inspired by such a young man ever before so well done. I've come to realise that I'm going to need every ounce of strength, discipline and determination to get anywhere near climbing that and sitting on top celebrating. But to be fair, meeting Edward and hearing what he's gone through and the money he's raised has really helped motivate me. I'm going to need a little bit more than that though. For the next few months, I'll be spending every spare moment training and learning how to climb at an indoor wall. I'm not reaching that. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but climbing indoors will only get me so far. Meet Anna. She's one of the UK's best young climbers and an expert when it comes to tackling tricky outdoor climbs. In 2019, she became the first woman ever to get to the top of Mount Raima in Guyana. She's agreed to be my climbing partner and mentor for this challenge. So, I think it's fair to say I'm in pretty safe hands. Anna, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you so much for being my climbing partner. No really problem appreciate at all. It. Seeing as you've driven all the way up to the Lake District today, I thought that it would be a great time to do your very first outdoor rock climb. <laughs> and we've got... Are you serious? Oh, I'm serious. Oh. And we've got a great one up behind us, up there, as you can see. <laughs> that's, got, that's got to be a joke. You don't want me to climb that, I do want you to climb that. So my partner is off, and in a minute, that's going to be me. I'm about to climb the height of a 13-storey building and Anna's keeping us safe by placing special gear into the rock which she can then clip a rope into. This is called trad climbing and prevents us from falling too far if either of us were to slip. OK, Richie, whenever you're ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Oh, here we go. 
This is very daunting, but keep in mind, this is nowhere near the difficulty or height of the old man of Hoy. Nice one, Richie. Doing really well. So, I need to give this a good go. Oh, this is not graceful. Uh, I've not got the flexibility that I need. Oh, you're there. I'm there. You're closer you than really I thought. It. Perfect. Hmm. All right, commit to it. Nice, Richie, come on. There we go, that's what I want. Yes. <sighs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> did I just do all that? You did? To be fair, that wasn't too bad, but something tells me it's about to get a lot tougher. <sighs> OK, here's the first big test of this challenge. How on earth do I get from here to where I need to go, which is there, where you are. The only way to get across this is to step over the gap and trust that my feet can hold me in place over 25 metres up. A little bit higher, tiny oh. bit, come on, you're so close. Come on, Richie, yes, that's it. Now, use your toe, stand into that foothold. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, you beauty! <laughs> OK, my heart is racing, but I've done it. However, this final section looks pretty steep, and I'm terrified of heights. Come on, one last push. Home stretch, Tris. Home stretch. Oh. You did it. <sighs> well done. Oh, no, the microphone. <laughs> OK, that was one third of what old man of hoy is correct yes, one third what on earth do i need to work on before? well you did great considering how little climbing you've done prior to this all you really need to do is head to a climbing wall fairly often uh, just get loads and loads of mileage in get really confident and efficient in your movement and before long you'll be ready to do the old man of hoy in six months in six months we've got time a little by little <laughs> I'm spending every spare minute getting myself ready for this challenge. Training outdoors, indoors, and in the gym, building up my strength. And just as training was going well... The Prime Minister has announced a new national lockdown in England to stop the rising spread of coronavirus. <sighs> OK, so... Gyms are closed, my climbing wall's closed, I can't do any sort of training at all. It's disheartening, it's upsetting, and it's made... a challenge that I was already petrified of even more worrying. Every day that goes by just feels like another very frustrating step backwards. And in the end, it's months of waiting, despairing and being restricted to doing simple training at home on my own. Well, it's April and I'm back and it's time to start my training. Again. And it's very clear from the start that I am nowhere near the level that I was at before. I hate it, Dan. Why am I doing this? So to say if I was at an 8 out of 10 before, now I'm at a 2. But time is ticking, and the only way I'm really going to know just how ready I am for this challenge is to meet with my climbing partner, Anna, to tackle another big outdoor rock climb. I'm feeling quietly optimistic about the climb, to be honest. I say that now, but then ask me, ask me again when I'm halfway up. My biggest fear with this challenge, hands down, is failing. I'm at a critical stage in my training, and the route Anna's picked for today is a grade easier and far shorter than the old man of Hoy. All right, Richie, you ready? I'm as happy as I can be. All right, come on then, start climbing. So to prove to her that I'm ready for my challenge, I need to climb well and climb fast. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh I've got myself in the right pickle here. Oh, God. 
That was not supposed to happen. Thanks for saving my life. Go on, Richie, you can do it. Oh, come on, Driss, dig deep. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. This is not a good start. I feel like I'm back at square one, and everything I've learned over the last year has really gone out the window. This is heartbreaking. You are going to do this. You've done so well so far. You are going to do this. Come on, Richie. Well. Oh my gosh, I'm in pieces. I feel like I started off so well. And it's all falling apart. I've already spent an hour on this rock face and I'm not even halfway. This isn't good. Oh, I've lost all confidence in my feet. I can't afford to climb this slowly on the old man of Hoy. I'm not enjoying this in the slightest. <laughs> it's okay, it's nearly over. I'm really, really not enjoying this. If I do, there's no doubt I will fail. <laughs> there you go. I am broken, and I am nowhere near the top. That was one of the worst things I've ever done. <laughs> Tears on the side of a rock face. But I've still got that to go. Mentally and physically, I have gone to pieces. I'm terrified of falling, and my technique has utterly failed me. <laughs> oh, I've stood here too long. Come on, you can do it. Uh, come on. Uh, yeah, come on, Richard. Uh, You're so close, Driss. You are so close. I've had enough. I just need to get off this rock right now. I don't care anymore. I, I don't care how I get up as long as I get up. I'm taking the easy way out, pulling myself up on the All rope. Right. All right, you're okay. <sighs> you're all right. I struggled so much. Clearly, I've, I've not done anywhere near enough to be able to take this on. I'm so far away from where I should be. If that was a test, that would have been a flat-out fail. Any sort of confidence that I had in being able to do this is gone. <laughs> <laughs>